Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do voice thread for um, assignment two of the A layer. So go to Mozilla Firefox, it works better than um, Internet Explorer, and enter voicethread.com. That's going to pull up a home page <clears throat> that looks something like, well, it already has me logged in. Let me sign out so you can see what that looks like. So it's going to look something like this. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to actually click register and then you're going to enter it. You just have to have an email for it. Um, just use your personal email. It just saves your stuff so that you can come back and work in it. So I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in to VoiceThread. Okay, so what I'm going to do in the very first thing, here's a one I kind of played around with back in October. But I'm going to click create if I want to create create a new movie. And there's lots of different types of media you can add here. I can add pictures from my um, computer. I can add them from media sources. I could have a web webcam photo or a webcam video. Maybe if you were going to start um, your overall, or you can also add from a URL. Um, if you're going to start your webcam video or your, your um, presentation, it might be a, a good idea to either um, Kind of have an introduction so let's say we were going to do that you have to allow access just like you would anywhere else and all your computers will do this so if you were going to put this webcam video on there you're going to say you know hi this is so and so and i'm going to tell you about blah 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 whatever that is if it's the spanish american war if it's imperialism um progressivism depending on what you're making your video over um, so you can use this as a part of um, an introduction, maybe um, some um, analysis between the videos, different types of pictures, um, but the webcam could be used. And I believe the rubric says to either use pictures or the webcam itself. So let's say I did a quick introduction on my video. All right, I'm going to stop. It's going to play it back to me. I'm going to just say save. You can watch it. So the first thing, maybe I'm going to call that an, the intro. Um, maybe my description says um, a brief summary of my video. Okay. Now, tags aren't really important in this because you're not going to share it in this way. Now, it's like a storyboard. So you could, uh, one, you can change that. You can add cover art. Um, so this will kind of be, um, if we were going to upload it, I don't know that I really have a whole lot of pictures in here. Let's say here's a good picture. Save. Now that's my, um, introductory image. Now let's say I'm going to go back in a minute. I want to talk a little bit about, um, the, some of the, uh, problems or the, the things that led to the Spanish-American War. Oops, that's not right. Don't use the media sources. I think it's the URL. That's what we use. Was it URL? Yes. Okay, so you can do this a couple different ways. You can save your 15 pictures onto your computer and then add it through my computer, or you can add it through a URL. Now, this is how this will work. I open a new tab. I go to Google Images, and let's say I'm going to talk about... Um, <clears throat> I want to talk about the Cuban um, concentration camps, 1890, yeah, 1898, that would have been around, or 1895, either one of those. Okay, that's, that's maybe that's something I'm going to, this is something that Cuba did prior to the Spanish-American War. So I'm going to pull up some images. Now I've looked at some of these and made sure that that's what they actually are, or, I mean, that's what I would assume. Um, uh, let's see here. See if there's one I know. I've not seen that one before. So I'm just going to find something that, okay, is going to be about what I'm talking about. So here's some Cuban rebels. Okay, we could, we could do that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to see how it says share here. Um, you can copy it like this, like you're used to copying. 
Then you're going to go back to VoiceThread. You're going to enter that and paste it and say save. Well, then it says error. Now, why does it say that? Hmm. Okay, hang on. Um, let's see here. Let's try that again. URL. I might just need to open the URL here. So here's a good picture of it might be easier just to save the pictures. I don't know. Let me see. We might be able to also copy the um copy link location. Let's try that one. It's been a little while since I did this. Save. Still in there. Okay, so it might be the best thing just to download it. That might be the best idea here. Copy image location. I know I was taught how to do this. I just can't remember. And sometimes it depends on the website. Sometimes the website won't let you have the image either. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so the right um, thing that I want you to use or that will only work is copy image location. That's pretty important. You can either do that or you can just download it to the computer that you're on or to a thumb drive or to OneDrive and upload them that way. That works too. So let's say we've got this here. We want to edit that. Let's say we want to put um we want to put a title and say, you know, um Cuban rebels which fought against you have to spell it right too. The Spanish. Okay, let's say we save that. Okay, so we have a title here. And now we can add more things to that, if I remember right. Um, there's a lot of different media that we can add, and there's also, we can add comments to it. So I can skip forward. Should be able to skip forward here. There we go. Now I can add comments. Now there's different ways I can add comments. I can add it through ABC text. So then here's where I could enter some of my information. Okay, so um, in the late 1800s, Spain was decreasing in power, but they still had control of Cuba. Cubans wanted their independence. Okay, let's just say that's something I said. Now I didn't check it for. Um, so now I've added a comment to that. Now I could add a voice comment, I could add a video comment, or I could also upload a comment. And this one, I think it's a text to comment or call in a comment. I don't think you would really use that one. We can go back to the storyboard. I gotta remember how to do that. Uh, so here's my comment added to that. Or you can do it all pretty much voice edit edit button takes you back to this now the overall requirements is like 15 photos and you need to have you know using text video webcam um, if you want to add some text to the photo itself kind of like you would like a, with a snapchat that would be fine too the whole idea behind the video is that it's comprehensive that you're basically telling me what's happening and how it's working if you have more questions about this let me know Oh, wait a minute, I need to tell you how to share it. So once it's completely done, you can copy the link right here. Uh, let me see here. I can copy the link, it's copied to the clipboard, and then I post it in OneNote. So if I took it here into OneNote, I went to, you know, layer four, or A and B layer, unit four, insert, 
file printout. Nope, not file printout. Insert link. And it would be like my video. Here's my web address. Okay. It's submitted.